ஜி அன்னையை வணங்கி குண்டலனை எழுப்பி வந்தனட்டுக் கொள்வோம்
மூன்று மகமந்திரங்கள் ஆதிசக்தி மாதாஜி ஸ்ரீ நிருமலா தேவே நமோ நம ஸ்ரீ மாதாஜி எங்களுடைய இதயத்திலிருந்து தாங்களே எங்களை உண்மை நிலையில் நிலைநிறுத்த வேண்டும் மாயைகள் விலகி குழப்பங்கள் தெளிந்து தெளிந்த நீரோடையை போல் எண்ணங்களற்ற தியான நிலையை எங்களுக்கு தந்தருளுங்கள் எண்ணங்களற்ற நிலையில் உண்மையான நிலையில் உண்மையான தாங்களை உண்மையாகவே நாங்கள் ஒன்றோடு ஒன்றாக கலர்ந்து தியானத்தில் வைத்திருக்க அன்பே உருவான ஆதிசக்தி என்னையே தாங்களே அருள் புரியுங்கள் இரு கைகளும் பூமியின் மீது இருக்கட்டும் ஸ்ரீ மாதாஜி பூமி தாயின் தெய்வீக குணங்களை கொண்டு எங்களுக்கு சமநிலையை நல்குங்கள் நாங்கள் எப்பொழுதும் நிகழ்காலத்தில் இருக்க உறுதுணை புரியுங்கள் அண்ணே எங்களை வாட்டும் எவ்விதமான கடந்த கால சிந்தனையாக இருந்தாலும் குழப்பங்களாக இருந்தாலும் முழுவதுமாக அவைகள் நீக்கப்பட்டு எங்களை 
நிகழ்காலத்திலே மகிழ்ச்சியான தருணத்தில் ஆனந்தமாக இருக்க செய்யுங்கள் எதிர்கால பயமும் எதிர்கால தேவையற்ற சிந்தனைகளும் வேண்டாம் எப்பொழுதும் தங்களுடைய அருளில் தங்களுடைய ஒரு பாதங்களில் எங்களுடைய கவனங்கள் பதிந்திருக்கட்டும் இடது கை அன்னை நோக்கி இருக்கட்டும் எல்லாம் வல்ல பரம் பரமேஸ்வரியே தாங்களே ஸ்ரீ மகா காளியாகவும் ஸ்ரீ வைரோநாத்தாகவும் இருக்கிறீர்கள் எங்களுடைய இழா நாடியில் தயவு செய்து தூய்மையை தாருங்கள் எங்களுடைய எண்ணங்கள் பரிசுத்தமாகட்டும் எங்களுடைய ஞானம் தெய்வீகமாகட்டும் தங்களுடைய தெய்வீக அன்பை எங்களுடைய இடா நாடியில் முழுவதுமாக ஒவ்வொரு செல்களிலும் ஒவ்வொரு நாடிகளிலும் பொழிந்து நாங்கள் குற்றமற்றவர்களாகவும் ஆனந்தம் அடைந்தவர்களாகவும் இருக்க வேண்டும் அண்ணே ஸ்ரீ மகா காளி ஸ்ரீ பைரவநாத் மந்திரம் சாட்சி சாட்சி மாதாஜி வலது கை அன்னையை நோக்கி இருக்கட்டும் இடது கை ஆகாயத்தை நோக்கி இருக்கட்டும் ஸ்ரீ மாதாஜி எங்களுடைய பிங்கள நாடியில் ஸ்ரீ மகா சரஸ்வதியாகவும் ஸ்ரீ ஹனுமானாகவும் பிரசன்னமாகவும் சக்திகளோடும் இருக்கிறீர்கள் எங்களுடைய பிங்கள நாடியை பரிசுத்தமாக்கி எங்களுடைய செயல்களை தூய்மைப்படுத்துங்கள் எங்களுடைய திட்டங்கள் எதிர்கால சிந்தனைகள் அனைத்தையும் தங்களிடம் ஒப்படைத்து எங்களை தாங்களே நிர்வகிக்குமாறு பணிவோடு பிரார்த்தனை செய்கிறோம் எச்செயல் செய்தாலும் அச்செயல்களில் தங்களுடைய அன்பும் தெய்வீக ஆதிக்கமும் இருக்கட்டும் நான் சகஜ யோகி தர்மத்தில் வாழ்பவன் என்ற உணர்வு இருக்கட்டும் தர்மத்தை மீறி எச்செயல்களும் நான் செய்யாமல் தாங்களே காத்திரள வேண்டும் என்னுடைய செயல்களில் தெய்வீகம் தங்களுடைய முழுமையான அருளும் இருக்கட்டும் அண்ணே ஸ்ரீ மகா சரஸ்வதி ஹனுமான மந்திரம் சாட்சி சாட்சி 
हनुमान साक्षा श्री आदिशक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देवी नमो नमः இரு கைகளும் அண்டை நோக்கி இருக்கட்டும் கவனம் நம்முடைய சுழுமுனை நாடியில் இருக்கட்டும் ஸ்ரீ மகாலக்ஷ்மி கணேசா மந்திரம் ஓ மகாலி சாட்சிணேஷா ஆதிசக்தி மாதாஜி ஸ்ரீ நிர்மலா தேவே நமோ நம ஓரி குண்டலனி மாதா சாட்சா ஆதிசக்தி மாதாஜி வலது கை நம்முடைய நெற்றி பகுதியில் இருக்கட்டும் ஸ்ரீ மாதாஜி நான் முழுவதுமாக அனைவரையும் மன்னிக்கின்றேன் என்னையும் மன்னிக்கிறேன் இரு கைகளும் அன்னை நோக்கி கவனம் சாஸ்தாரத்தில் அன்னையுடைய ஒரு அருள்மொழி கேட்போம் தட் நேச்சர் ஆல்சோ கேன் பி அவேகண்ட் வித் த பிரசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் அ டிவைன் பர்சனாலிட்டி அண்ட் ஒன்ஸ் இட் இஸ் அவேகண்ட் it starts behaving in a manner as a realized soul would do like it gets angry with people who are not religious people who don't want to know about god people who are doing wrong things on life people who are not normal people in the sense they don't uh, want to be part and parcel of the whole the closest all sorts of people and once it is brought to that level then it starts working on its own 
as you know that according to sahaj yoga all these elements have got a deity behind it for example agni has got a deity called agni devta in pure form agni devta is the one which really purifies us it purifies everything it purifies say a gold if you put gold in the fire see it doesn't burn it comes out more brilliant better but if it is something that is not of such a value it will burn out so all inflammable things are mostly of a low grade things which are to be burnt only but amazingly these lower things only when they are enlightened or you can say when you put some wood you take and you put fire to it so when fire is added to that wood the same fire which is coming actually the base is that the wood itself which is inflammable and the flames that are coming out of that fire once they are enlightened they starts knowing what is truth what is untruth and reacting in such a manner as if they know what work has to be done now the difference between a sahajyogi and the fire which is so initiated is this that it does not think about it. it just goes on completely finishing things which it has to do and by a method of frequencies it knows where to go and which one to burn out and that's how it goes on burning things which it has to burn and <coughs> some of the unfortunate things are that people feel that this fire has no compassion and that the fire must have some compassion also to spare some people <laughs> but the trouble is we must understand that we have so many things within us we got fire we got water we got mother earth all elements are within us but in the fire it is only the fire element the thing is so it acts according to its own quality that is fire the whatever is the quality of the fire when enlightened separates truth from untruth and starts behaving in that manner but it remains fire it cannot become compassion but in a way if you see when you start choosing between the wrong type of a person and a right type of a person if you see in a subtle way it is compassion because it is truth and truth is love so whatever it is doing is to manifest the love of god and when it is manifesting the love of god you should know that though it is fire it gets the performance of a personality which is as if is a human being because it 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 is discreet it knows what to f- burn and what not to burn one day i must tell you we were uh, doing some sort of a cleaning of the doors with those lamps you get and linda one day you see by mistake brought that lamp very close to me and the lamp uh, the flame was very strong but it just went round me and it didn't touch me she was surprised she said mother you are burning i said don't worry it just went round and came out so the b- fire doesn't burn a person who is pure doesn't the example is sita ji sita ji when she was brought by shri rama from ravana's place see everybody said that she has lived with rakshasa and she must be found out uh whether she is guilty or not so rama first of all he said all right he put the fire she herself said that you put a fire a fire of fire and she sat on that and when the fire started burning it could not burn her she could not be burnt see and the whole fire subsided so that time the agni devata knows what is right what is wrong who is holy who is unholy but human beings take lot of time to recognize that and to understand even in sahaj yoga because the sensitivity has to be grown much more now why is it that anything that like water or 
agni or any one of these elements become so sensitive than human beings are how they just obediently do the thing as if as if they know the job and they're so quick at it so efficient the reason is they are completely under the control of the divine they are under the control of the powers of god absolutely 100% whatever god wants they do it was they are in light but human beings are still you see dwindling between his own human awareness and the divine awareness and the oneness with the god so it is the sensitivity in a person grows very very slowly doesn't matter makes no difference and when it grows it comes is it moves sometimes two steps forward and five steps backward marks you see again like by the time it is about two years you find the gentleman at the same spot where he started <laughs> and you get quite upset how it has happened despite surge of that but this is the thing is that human beings can think and they can decide and they have ultimate freedom to give up this sensitivity at any time so you have to be under complete obedience of the divine which is one cannot understand sometimes the how to be like that because we have not been brought up that way we don't know how to do it and it's very difficult so many people say mother it is very difficult to surrender it's not that they don't want to surrender but they say think that we are still you see popping up somewhere mother says something but we start questioning her mother says this then we think that we should we can suggest to mother this another alternative and this and that but there is no alternative See, there's no alternative for a person who is a sensible person if he knows that divine is only thinking of your hit of your well being and whatever it sees and does you see knows much more than you do much much more and in so many dimensions that if somebody says so that do like this best is to do that sometimes it shocks people people have ideas about sympathies ideas about being is kind to others and be compassionate to others but what is a human compassion it doesn't do anything it just talks why the god's compassion works it works it works on people it doesn't talk that oh i'm very compassionate i'm full of compassion nothing it just works it manifests so one should understand to be a complete egoless personality one should try to obey the self within yourself now how do you obey yourself within yourself it is through vibratory awareness try to obey through your vibratory awareness any question you want to ask anything you want to do you must obey it through your vibratory awareness now some people are not so sensitive that's true the reason why they are not sensitive is because they think about it now you think with your brain all right if your brain can be enlightened then you will think as the divine thinks and your sensitivity will improve because sensitivity comes from the central nervous system now in the central nervous system if there is any blockage it is actually in the brain because all the centers are represented in the brain so the best thing is to say that mother come in my brain please reside in my brain please make your room in this brain you be the controller of this brain let this brain be guided by your divine wisdom and you don't think for yourself and this word i think should be dropped completely from such i think means goes on i see funny ways it can be anything you see like once we went out and we had one of my very stupid uh, relations staying with us and god and uh, as i was going out we had no servers that day so i i was cooking but that day when we were going out so i told i'm going in the morning can you make a little bit of khichdi for us when we come back we'll have that that's the only cooking she did in her life i mean which she did not do also so when we came back uh, she told me that she had not cooked So I said, "Why? Why didn't you cook? Because we were supposed to take our food here." She said, "I, I thought that maybe you may not come. Maybe you're not hungry. 
maybe you may not like to eat, maybe I may not do well. You see, so all these four alternatives, not to do the cooking. But I said, why didn't you think that we may be hungry, <laughs> that we will eat? Why didn't you think this way? But I thought, you see, this is an explanation for uh, not having one in the brain, I should say, that there is no divine uh, guidance in the brain. Then the guidance comes from your ego or from your superego, which says, I, I thought that this might happen. But how, why, why did you think like I, Why not the other way now? Why did you think the other way now? But that is how it is. And when these things happen, we really are so much used to this kind of justification and alternatives to be offered that this becomes again the habit of the brain and the brain gets separated from the default. So you tell your brain, but why? Why did you think like that? Now will you stop thinking about these things and on these lines? Let us think of the positive thing. Now positive thinking is nothing but is a thinking as according to Sahaja Yoga, it's not aggressive thinking, but it means that a thinking which helps to manifest the divine. That is what is positive. And the and the it's all right, it's all right. And and the result of that is that your nerves start opening up and you start feeling <coughs> the feeling the manifestation of divine power in your fingers, in your being. And this is the basic thing that doesn't happen in the West or in the Western culture because we have a very big idea of always giving an explanation for anything. Now you can see that, supposing you go to a person who is possessed and you get possessed, then you give an explanation, you see, I went to that person thinking, I thought that I will cure that person. But the result is you are mad now. Is so that person getting cured? You have... <coughs> so what is the reason? The reason is you thought in a very negative way that I thought that this would <coughs> help me or I was helping that person. On the contrary, you got into trouble. Now, the trouble did not think. No. It just entered into you without thinking. <laughs> it is there. It never thought whether I entered this person or not. It just came in, walked straight forward. While you were busy thinking, you see, it entered into your being <laughs> and settled down there. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like a thief walking into your house nicely when you are busy absent-mindedly doing something. It's exactly like you see the thief walking in, suddenly you find, oh, the thief is standing behind you. Now, you said, I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly the same way it happens to us. And when we know, our mind knows that I can give an explanation about it, every time it is ready to give explanation, then uh, the mind, you see, is used to that kind of a phenomena, that it will always give an explanation, always it will say something. So it is never on the alert because, you see, even if the trouble walks into you, you will always say, this is the explanation. But explanation doesn't cure, it. doesn't help you because by mental explanation, <laughs> she's not well, you see, she's given some uh, soothing things. It's some <laughs> soothing levels. <laughs> Just take it. Just give up. All right. So, one should not be extremely uh, on the thought waves and on the depending on their thinking. Because, you see, thinking has an alternative. <coughs> thinking always has an alternative. You can say, I was thinking this or I was thinking that. But whom are you blaming? It was you who were thinking, so you are responsible for it. So if you take the responsibility for your thing, then you may not do such a thing as to say that I thought if I had done this thing, it would happen. Because you are responsible for your thing. 
Suppose you, an engine driver decides that I thought I better go by the other route and has a big accident. People will ask you, why did you think like that? What was the thing that made you think like that? But in every day-to-day life I find human beings are always saying, I think, I think, I think, all the time giving alternatives. And that's why they go up and down, up and down, up and down like that. But for fire or for water or for Mother Earth, there is no alternative. There are no alternative. If I just touch the Mother Earth and I say, suck in their problems, please. She sucks. If I tell the fire, now, come now, you have been ignited. I don't even tell. I don't even tell. They immediately suck it. Their Kundalini rises, you can see. You put a fire in front of my foot. It's <coughs> you put a light, it's It has no alternatives. It doesn't think, it has no alternatives. It's just enlightened. It has its own quality of enlightenment. In the purest sense, because thinking makes it impure. Your enlightenment becomes impure by your thinking, by giving explanations, by giving all these nonsensical um, alternatives. So one should know, to divine there is no alternate. In Sanskrit the word is pariyai. There is no pariyai for divine. Divine is divine. There is nothing like that. Supposing you don't want to accept it, you will have problems. And then you will say that, Mother, how did we have problems? As you saw in Delhi, I told these people many a times that we do not have any program for eight days, and let all these people stay with some friends. They wouldn't listen to them. They are in their program in that flat business. And they were thinking they will have a big uh, pendol in which they will give, give them the food to eat and all that. But you know what happened? It rained and rained and rained. Now rain knew what I wanted. <laughs> and because it had to rain for the rabi co- crop. You see, you, ca- I ca- you see, you have to look after the whole universe. And that's why I said that for these eight days, don't allow them to stay in this because it will be difficult for them to move out. Better keep them with some other people so they can carry them along and do things. But they did not. Listen. Ultimately, it turned out to be a fiasco. They had to arrange for the stay of all other people into some house. So this is the situation. Now they might say that, Mother, you better stop the rain. I will not. Because it is, they must know that the question of Rabi crop is also equally important for me. And they have to have their share. After all, they are human beings and they are to be had. But why didn't you listen to me? And then he came to me and he said that, Mother, will you please stop the rain tomorrow? I said, Lord, tomorrow I will went back and he told the other gentleman, he said, that let's put up the shower, <coughs> let's put up the pendant and uh, let the, uh, let us cook there. He said, but no, it will rain. He said, no, it will not because I have t- told God himself. Uh, he said, where did you meet God? He said, I did meet him and now it's done. The next day it was, he got up at five o'clock, the other fellow, to see. <coughs> and he saw the whole sky so clear, he said, look at that, you have told God and God has listened to you. <laughs> so this is it. Then when you are that much one with God, I mean, if you tell anything, it will work. Anything. Anything you ask for, it will work. But we are not. We are all the, always finding alternatives, you see. And these <coughs> alternatives is the game. The, all these people have played with you all the time giving you alternatives. You see, see now, in the market if you go, just now I asked him about how, what car you have. You know. So he told me there are so many combinations, this, that, if you cylinder, this, that, so you go mad. You say, all right, but I'm doing something, whatever it is. And then, you see, they, this is all playing with your brain.
ஜெய்ஷி மாதாஜி அன்னைக்கு நன்றி சொல்லி குண்டலனை எழுப்பி பதினெட்டு கொள்வோம் ஸ்ரீ மாதாஜி இன்றைய தியானத்தை தங்களுடைய பொற்பாதங்களில் சமர்ப்பிக்கின்றோம் அண்ணே Jaya Jagadishwari Mata Saraswati Mata Saraswati
Jaya Jagadishwari 